Well, we're all under snow over here at the wood yard. This is the front wood yard. Um, Got to have to shovel out some snow before we can start splitting here. This is what we moved up to the front before all the storm happened. And uh, yeah, let's get to shoveling. Well, all right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, we're in the dead of winter right now in February in Connecticut. Um, and uh, thanks for tuning back into my channel. What better thing to do on a cold winter day than shovel out your wood yard? This is actually the front one because we'll be stacking more wood over this side. <clears throat> It to drink beer and split some wood so stay tuned we're gonna get to that I got some bigger the bigger rounds over here still covered in a little bit of snow but we're gonna split those up to smaller sections and uh, pop them and fill this rack up over here so let's get to it Got uh, all this quartered up. I think it's ash. It might be ash. Now that I'm looking at it, you know, it's pretty cool. So, like everyone says, ash is cash. So, we're going to put a moisture meter on it and check it out and uh, uh, see what the moisture content is. Uh, it, it looks like it's almost ready to burn. It split pretty nice. Uh, had a couple of stringy pieces, but uh, it'd be nice if it is ash. We get it out there ready to sell. And uh, also, just sold the half a load at the wood box and uh, we're gonna have to go fill that up too so I'll be getting to that and stick with me we'll get to the moisture meter well all right I got my general moisture meter okay this will tell us the uh, moisture content inside of the wood and let's try our first piece let's get this nice one right here we'll turn it on make sure we're on wood 
Okay, dig the prong in. Uh, it's not too bad. It's about 20% right now. So it's close. I, gu I guarantee, you know, we get some uh, good drier weather coming our way, but all we've been getting is snow. Snow, snow, snow. So let's try one more. Let's try this nice piece right here. Yeah, 21%. I don't know if you can see that, 21%. Pretty cool. So this will dry pretty quick and uh, we'll get ready to sell it. So time to go fill that wood box. Well, all right guys, filled the wood box. Now I'm back over here, it's starting to get a little dark and it's uh, getting cold. My feet are a little wet from having to shovel out the wood yard over here. Uh, but at least I got everything quartered up so it's easier to handle onto the splitter and uh, get this all split up. Well, all right guys, check this out. I think I'm getting a little bit more efficient on how I'm gonna be handling my processing of wood. All right, so as you saw before, I've got all those quartered up. I had the splitter in the vertical position. Now we're into the horizontal position. Uh, we got it all stacked up back there so we can load my homemade uh, log table. And I got my Fisker's Picaroon. And I'm going to try this out. This is the first time I'm doing it. I'm going to see how well it works. If I can keep feeding them to me. Because before I had to grab the logs off the back and bring them up to the front. And it's kind of a long reach. I'm thinking with the Picaroon, it should uh, speed up that time so I can get them closer to me and then refill the, the log table again and split more. So let's get right to it and uh, start splitting. Let's load the table and split away. Wow, that works pretty well. I don't even have to bend over anymore. Pick it up the lot. Just jam it in, lift it up. Alright, that's working pretty well. Look at that. I don't think I bent over once yet. Wow. Alright, so we got it stacked up. Let's do a little splitting. Alright, let's fire up this machine and uh, see how this works out with the new Picaroon.
just want to say it's a beautiful day to split wood today. Oh my God, finally we're above freezing. And it hasn't been above freezing in quite a while now, so this is kind of refreshing to us. The snow's starting to melt down, but I think we got some ice coming in. Got to get it all split. Maybe we'll cover this up. Um, hopefully I can get all this done today, which I should be able to. So I'm going to put you on a little time lapse and we'll get to uh, splitting away. So well, there you have it guys, got a nice, probably about a third of a quart of, uh, uh, this is all rock maple and some red oak in here. Uh, that, that rock maple is some tough stuff to split. You know, I got it for free off of uh, the side of the road. No one else could handle it. No one else wanted to cut it up or split it. It was sitting out since October. So I took the opportunity to uh, get the wood and I got some decent, decent wood out of it. But I'll tell you, man, that stuff is solid. They don't call it rock maple for nothing. But as you saw in the video, I'm using the new Fiskars Picaroot. I love this thing. Man, it is making my life 10 times easier bringing the wood up to the table. And uh, yeah, everything's working out smoothly. So that's going to do it for this video. Just give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll tell you what. I'll split you later.